Just repacked our bags, which are way too big and way too heavy, but it's a canoe trip. Never mind the portage. There's a very concerned puppy who's not quite sure what's happening. And she really, really wants to come. Good thing she is. One day, I'm going to be ready the day before and not be back in a car like 20 minutes before we have to be there. <laughs> It'll work out. It's going to be awesome. Okay. Just got dropped off. Time to load up a canoe. And so we take off. This is an old growth tree stump I'm standing on. The water's really low. Normally this thing is way down in the water, but unbelievable. Drop it. Up, up. You can do it. Up, up. Good girl. Break. We're gonna have to portage over the, the hill over to the other side. That portage is known as Cardiac Hill. Tons and tons and tons of flies here. In order to navigate the Powell Forest canoe route, it helps to have some maps. And me, being the outdoor professional that I am, promptly left those at home. So now I'm resorting to the ones on my phone. Of course, that drains in no time flat. But luckily, I've got a solar charger with me. 21st century backcountry camping. Portage time. That. It's our second load. First load will be the canoe pedals, all that kind of stuff. They have very nicely provided these canoe rests all along the portages. They are numbered from a Goat Lake to Windsor Lake, 
uh, there's 24. You can count down. Maybe it is insult to injury, but a Windsor Lake campground, the outhouse is inside the stump of a old growth tree. <laughs> Got our second and final load on. One more hike up Cardiac Hill. Well, I thought I had just seen some really rare critter. My wife just informed me that they're just tadpoles. But, given that they're like five inches, the biggest damn tadpoles I've ever seen. Oh, wow, those are you mongonoid. In my not so humble opinion, when you're camping at a lake like this, you need to swim. So that's the morning plan. <laughs> Good girl, go get it. We think that this lake, Windsor Lake, should be renamed to Echo Lake. I hope the camera picks this up. Whoop, whoop. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> 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 The dog is participating.
every inch of log, eh? Oh, there she goes. All aboard, pups. Let it get it now! <laughs> Well, arriving at the bottom of Dot Lake is really beautiful and nice. Taking out your canoe here is not, but we got it done. Just lovely. He really doesn't want us here, does he? Have you for breakfast, yeah. you dummy? I got in, I pushed off, I didn't bring a paddle. <laughs> oh, that was dumb. No one saw that. I cannot believe this happened. Do your dry streak. Finally caught fish. I come back to the dock to find my camera has died. So, here is my catch. One little trout. Yeah, you just have to take my word for it that I caught it. We made it to the northern Horseshoe Lake campground. We've got one leg left and one portage before we get to the end in Lois Lake.
campsite. So the night is right there. And it's an absolutely stunning evening. I'm supposed to be up to about my neck in water right now. But the creek that we were supposed to put in at is super low. That's the water line supposed to be right there. So the water isn't deep enough for the canoe, our gear and us. So I'm going to take my boots off. I'm going to take my pants off and walk the canoe down this. All right, we're losing daylight, gotta go. Paddling for a little bit. This water's a bit deeper. He's gonna direct me through this. Alright. Putting the camera away. I think I need to start paying attention. Almost there. That red bag is our gear. From there we can paddle. Just this one, avoiding the big rock and the little rock that you can't see, and we're scot free. <laughs> that was fun. Last few days have been very wet and it's got all our gear strewn about the beach. The tent is drying out and uh, we're slowly packing up and getting ready. But for some reason, we're really not in a rush today. is a very fitting end to our trip in the Powell Forest Canoe Route. We're pedaling into the sun and we hope to come back to this area and do something like this again because it's been awesome. Alright, I'm going to put the camera down. 
and enjoy the last few strokes of our pedals. Onwards to new adventures. Uh -huh.